Hey y'all, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Where we're no longer on the sky. We're on the ground and I'm still... Still pushing wrong buttons to control the camera. Left shoulder button, right stick. Right shoulder button, right stick as well. Okay. Wanna make sure I got that out. Okay. Time to actually start our adventure. It's gonna go great. I just know it. I, I feel very comfortable with the combat. Hey, look, there's that beacon we placed that only we can see, I hope. Because it's gonna be really weird if somebody just starts wondering, hey, what's that light in the sky? Speaking of combat, let's go do some. Out of the way, scram. Yeah, that's that's working great. So you'll notice that the bacoblins change which way the sword faces. You need to strike where they've got openings. Otherwise they'll just parry you. Oh. Woohoo, thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. I kind of want that item. It's gonna disappear. Ooh. Just who are those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys, so let me tell you something fascinating. Hey bud, I am Gorko the Goron. I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, there is some kind of place up ahead, up above called the Isle of the Goddess. Far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from this Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure you examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, the statue is special as it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. Mm. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I for one believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? It is a real head-scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more, does it not? Sure! Oh. Ha, sounds like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. Alright, bud, you had better brace yourself because I'm about to blow your mind. So get this. People actually live on the Sky Island, and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. Up there, everyone reveres the goddess, and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. The Isle of the Goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the goddess herself, so it, it figures that it is filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold. An endless spring of mystical water feeds a river through the place. One sip, sip of that stuff and you live forever. The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather. Oh, the weather, bud. Not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Mm. Amazing, right? Wrong! It is beyond amazing! Mm. You want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? You'll kill me if I don't, won't you? Ooh. Good to hear, bud. I am completely obsessed with this place. I cannot get enough of it. I wish I had more to tell you now, but I will need to research these statues to learn more. Next time I bump into you, I will give you the latest info. Whoa! Mm. What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? Oh. The statue reacted the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? Sure did. Good, this didn't disappear. You got a golden skull! A rare rarity among skull ornaments shines with an eerie golden color. I wonder if that's... 
always a golden skull or if I just got really lucky. All right. I think I know what I need to do here. Or not. Okay, so this is a statue that will now let us go back to the sky if we want. Um, that's neat. So there was a big deal. Um, I'm gonna put my sword away. There's a, put my sword away. There was a big deal about the amiibo. Like they released the Skyward Sword amiibo and it's supposed to give you the ability to go back to the sky anytime you wanted. And it does. And maybe I'll unwrap mine to show it off. But really, you're never too far away from one of those statues. You can pretty much always, always use one of those to go to the sky. And now that I've got this, we got a shortcut. So I don't have to keep going through the temple. That's nice. So like, people are like, oh, you're hiding critical functionality behind a $20 amiibo. It's like, no. I would have to get my amiibo and tap it. And by the time I get my amiibo and tap it to go back to the sky, I could just find one of these statues and go. Because, I mean, it operates from the same rules. You're not going to be able to go to the sky from inside somewhere, clearly. And th those statues are literally everywhere. Oh, okay, this is the way I came. Alright. Good to know. Good to remember. Alright, so let's keep going. Master, now that you have accessed the stone statue, you can return to the sky at will. Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo figure, you can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface and come back to where you left. Please call me anytime you would like to use an amiibo. You can also enable or disable amiibo usage from the options. Alright, cool. So thanks for that. I just explained it. Appreciate it. Big, big help there, Fi. Fi may not be as annoying as she was in the original because they cut down on a lot of her a lot of her messages um she she really she out navi navi in the in the original release but uh if they cut down on her messages that's cool but i've i still feel like um she's gonna get on my nerves But she would tell you about everything. Holy shit. Master, you have entered Farron Woods. The plentiful water in this region clearly sustains a large diversity of flora, including this massive tree. It is logical that the lush plant life and water resources have attracted animal species to the region. Looking at the probabilities, it is extremely likely that Zelda is somewhere in the area. I recommend you continue to use your dowsing ability to search for her. So anyway, you think this is a lot of messages? <laughs> you have no idea how many there actually were. Man, you can really chop a tree up. That's kind of fun. I like that. Alright, do I actually have to touch each one of these statues? Or do I just have to get near it? I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I mean, I'm not going to use my dowsing ability yet. Because I don't need to. There we go. There's only really one path to go. Hey! Stop! Stop picking on it! Ooh. Thank you for the goodie, though. You got an ornamental skull. This simple, slightly macabre fashion statement bears the bacoblin symbol. So yeah, used to be whenever you would 
close and restart your game, every time you pick that up, you would get told what it is. And that got really annoying. Supposedly, they fixed that. I feel like there should be a mini game based on how many times you can slash a bamboo. Oh, it's cute. Huh? It's gone quiet. Quiku, now there's a green one. I didn't even know they came in green. Don't hurt me, Kuweep. I mean, I can't really blame the poor thing. After what it just went through, I'd be scared of Link too, especially if I didn't bother turning around before dropping my guard. Still here. All right, I don't really know where it went. But I apparently did the thing. So am I trying to find it? Okay, I can't really do anything with that. I do like that they made enemies more susceptible to different sword strikes. I'm just expected to be very bad at it. Stop! I kind of feel bad that I'm hitting it. But I kind of want it to stop, too. Why can't I not douse for... there it is. For strange creature. It spotted me again! Quick! Huh? You don't want to eat me? Qui, and come to think of it, why did you fight off all those red monsters? Can you believe I'm Machi? I'm a Kikui. You seem okay even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. I can only imagine how fast you went extinct. That's weird, Kiku. A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. What's a Zelda? I don't know who this girl was, Kukui, but she was in a bunch of trouble when I saw her. A pack of those mean red guys were after her, Kui, but she escaped with the Kikui Elder. Master, we have obtained new information on Zelda's current status. Also, I have traumatized this creature. I am pleased with myself. This information indicates that she was assailed by monsters but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. I have marked the position of the, ki of the Kikui known as Machi. Please confirm your current location. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this Kikui most likely produces a false positive dowsing reaction due to previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize there is an 85% chance that the Kikui Elder will also generate a dowsing reaction for the same reason. I propose you continue dowsing the search for Zelda. I will probably not do that. You really spooked me, Kui. You keep some very strange company, friend. Keep believe it sounds like you're set on finding this friend and the Elder. If you're heading that way anyway, Ki Kui, would you mind telling our elder that I'm safe? Yeah. Cheer up, Kui. I bet your friend is safe with our elder. I bet she's... definitely not. <laughs> how do I... how do I roll again? Uh, how do I roll? Okay, but that's gonna pull out my shield. 
Oops, that's the wrong button. That's gonna pull up my shield, though. I did not call for you. Okay, blue rupee. Maybe I wasn't dashing. Alright, we definitely can't open that without a bomb. Hmm. And we're not gonna get bombs for a while, trust me. We got nothing. And... A heart, which I actually wouldn't mind. Alright. There's still only really one path to go, so I don't really see the point in dowsing yet. Ooh! You got an amber relic. These amber-colored chunks of precious stone are found everywhere. No one knows where their strange shit comes from. It's a Magatama. Already getting the collectibles. Nothing that we can really use to upgrade yet. Uh... I was about to say, why is it ticking? And then it gave me a quarter heart damage. I don't like that thing. Alright. Can I pick up the grasshopper? Probably not. Alright, let's try not... It's at least not giving me a prompt, so I don't think I can do anything with that yet. Okay, maybe I actually do need a dials now. Or maybe I just... I'm stupid. And I just opened up the shortcut and went the wrong way. I don't need the dolls, he said. Being entirely wrong, actually. Ah, uh, yeah, this is kind of looking a little bit familiar from some of the playthroughs I've seen. Man, you can really swing fast. I actually do appreciate that you can swing super fast. Like, it's not even close. Alright, gotta get used to that. Also, did not take that much damage on my shield yet. Good. Really, combat's just gonna come to flail, I think. At least for a while. There's gonna be a, a situation we come up against very soon that's absolutely, absolutely not gonna be a flail situation. I look forward to dying there many times. Let's just say the first boss of this game is actually kind of difficult when you're still getting used to the combat. Oh, God. More of you. I really like that the lock-on system's a lot better than it was in Twilight Princess. At least so far. Of course, it kind of has to be by necessity. Alright, Fi, what do you want? Okay, no I didn't. I thought you wanted something. Uh, no, that's not right. Okay. Whatever that is, I screwed it up. Does that mean I gotta go around and then run and jump on it? Okay, that's kind of annoying. I mean, it's not that far away, but it's a little bit irritating. Alright, here we go. Line up! Run! Jump! Why is this, like, on the right stick and not the left? 
That's that seems weird. Kwee, I am Bucha, the Kikwi Elder. I saw the way you spotted me through my ingenious camouflage, Kui. You're clearly a master woodsman. Uh, where's Zelda? Zelda? Ah, the girl creature with the blonde hair. She looked like one of your kind. Yes, she was with me, Kui. But now is not the time for such talk. The woods are full of monsters. I am worried about my missing tribe. Wee. The shock and worry has made my memories of the girl quite hazy. Choo. What? You said you met some of my people, Quee? Hmm. Wee. So Machi is safe, eh? Ah, uh, but the monsters, they're still lurking in the forest. I don't dare leave the spot. Q -q. Three Kikwis are still unaccounted for. Could I ask you to search for them and make sure they are safe, Quee? I am worried sick for my se fellow Kikwis. If you could calm my fears, I might be able to remember more about where the girl you seek went off to, Kui. Learning that Zelda is no longer with the Kikui Elder is an unfortunate setback, but he may still have useful information. Taking this into account, I calculate an 85% probability that your quest will be aided if you find the lost Kikwis for the Elder. To expedite your search for these forest dwelling creatures, I have added Kikwis as a dowsing option. Do you need me how to explain how to switch dowsing targets? Uh, no thanks. Additionally, I will mark any Kikwis you discover on your map and disable dowsing readings for them. That way, you will not revisit the same Kikwis. This concludes my explanation. When ready, please begin your search for the missing Kikwis. I mean, I assume... I do that. Alright. Actually using dowsing again. That's just gonna take me back to... Isn't it? Yeah, this is good. Why am I... St okay, when I am in dowsing mode, I cannot step off small ledges. Okay, it's up there somewhere. It's in that structure. I think. Let's find out! Ow. Yeah, enemies here take a pretty much a full damage, or full hearted damage, most of them. They deal a lot of damage. Ah, a Kikwi. No, it's not. They do a lot of damage. For... For, um, you know, this is the first Zelda where you're still getting used to things. Can I have heart? Kikui, are you down this hole? What's over here? Ah! Kikui! Don't eat me! I taste terrible! Let me go, Kui! Huh? The Elder was worried about me? I'm glad to hear he's safe, Kui. I'm Ulu. I'm Ulo. If you meet the Elder, tell him I'm, I'm here, Kiboli. I don't know if it's safe yet. I'm gonna stay here a while longer and wait for those monsters to go away. It's a good strategy. I'm sure it'll work out great for you! can only imagine... Yeah, we never see these creatures again. So, they definitely died. <laughs> they died out. Their uh, overwhelming cuteness was no match for their delicious tasteability. Alright. Uh, I don't need to fight you guys, so I'm not going to. More Kikwis in this direction.
Man, they're really generous with that parry. At least with these Octoroks. Hey, what's in here? This looks like an area Kikui might run to, maybe. Also looks like an area there are monsters. Yep, this is an area with a Kikui, okay. Damn, that one actually managed to do a little sword fight. Good job, you. Okay, I'm pretty sure I know where I'm going from here. Fortunately, we can do that. And leap. And stamina fruit will sometimes grow from the vines if they expect you to climb a lot. So it's really useful. It's really well designed. There's a lot of things in this game that are really well designed that kind of get a bad rap because of how some of the other stuff is kind of difficult or not intuitive or the fact that it was released on the Wii. I think this one you have to cut all the grass so there's no more grass for him to disguise as. kind of funny. I've been discovered, and here I thought I had found a good hiding sp space, Kui. Um, Erla, you won't find another Kikui in these woods that's half as good as hiding as I am, except for the Elder, of course, Kui. Okay, so you're safe. Where's our next target? Vaguely that way. Dowsing does! I'm, I'm not gonna say dowsing is not useful. I just really don't see the point in using dowsing when you can only go one way anyway. Ah! Crows! Crows attack by pooping on me? I don't think I've got anything that can handle crows at the moment. Kind of funny that they attack by trying to poop on you, though. Alright, up there. Hmm. Knowing it's up there is different from knowing how to get there. I think I begin to see. I do not begin to see. Hmm. Hmm. No, can't just get up there. Thought I could tightrope across. That may not be the way. Definitely up there. Hmm. Don't poop on me. No, I can't get up there. Ah, that is a goddess cube. That's one of the things that we need to hit in order to activate goddess chests. But I don't think that we can do that. From where we are. Alright, I didn't think that was going to work, but I thought it might be worth a try. You know what? I think we're going to go ahead and call this an episode here. We went ahead, met uh, Gorko, we met the Kikwis, which actually I kind of think are adorable. 
and uh, we'll find the last one and talk to the Kikui Elder and get our reward next time. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, let me know. Give me likes, leave me comments. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you then. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.